Hi, what's up? It's Sarah. Sorry, it's kind of like a, um, my phone is charging, so it needs to be a little bit, um, <laughs> awkward right now. So basically, I'm going to be doing an energy reading for, um, my own journey again. Um, but this will be like from the beginning, like when we first met to the middle of our journey, like mostly like that harshest separation that we faced. We had a cut, we had a few separations, but basically like the biggest one, which was um, basically this past year and then um, present energy and then future energy. So I'm gonna read myself in the um, Halloween deck today. And just to remind everyone, Ace of Bats is like Ace of Swords, so that's just jumping out. It's like, this is the truth that I'm about to share with you. Okay, so basically let's talk about when we first met each other. <laughs> what was my, I'm sorry, this is your energy. What was your energy like, divine masculine at that time? Queen of Swords, so this is a very like intellectual person, very um, in their power, maybe wearing a mask of some sort. Um, not, no emotion here, more just like authority and um, structure and I see this as sort of like dominatrix energy sometimes, but like someone who's very dominant, um, but not emotional, like no, no cups there at all. Also queen of swords, so definitely not emperor material yet. Surrounded by books though, look at those, all those books. But I see that as sort of dark energy, not great. And then we'll take this one. I was like this page of ghosts. It's funny how you came up as this feminine and I came up as this. But that's just like my Leo. Um, my Leo sun is like the Leo sign is a more masculine vibe until you are balanced. You know what I mean? Like I have a lot to say about that, but not right now. So the page of ghosts is definitely a youthful energy, um, definitely not in their full power. Um, it's not the king or queen of ghosts, right? It's the page. So very like um, kind of shy and um, small and, um, but the thing is the ghosts are the cups in this deck. So it's like someone who is really loving and really in their heart space, um, emotionally in tune. Really different energies here. When Let's do a couple more from, from that like initial sort of um, meeting. Like, it doesn't have to be like day one. It could be like the first year or something. The high priestess. So he's really intuitive, very uh, magical. So when, like when he met me, he was feeling like that high priestess energy, like all his cups were being filled, like 10 of cups energy. Like, wow, wow. Let's do one more. Oh, but this Nine of Swords is here. It's like, oh, but I have to hurt somebody. And that somebody ended up being me. Let's go back to me. Um, so just like initial energies in the connection, the beginning of the Four of Bats. It's really like, um, I literally did this one time because I did offer my cup to someone else who wasn't my divine masculine because I was very confused and like lost at that time and um it left me in this energy of just like not meditating but like actually I was heartbroken I think maybe it'll come up in a bit but like just kind of feeling four of swords like all uh, lost yeah, and then I walked away from a relationship that wasn't serving me. So five of pumpkins it also left me like feeling very um, insecure financially because that person was like taking all my money and treating me like a sugar mama, which I'm not. 
and the lovers it's like yeah i was like look at all like this i was just in bed all the time like <laughs> this is accurate um I, I was just like really in my emotions but you don't see any cups here it's kind of like the cups were there and then they disappear because i was feeling a wreck like disconnected and the lovers is like that's still my focus i was still but it's not it's like you're holding like mail or like letters from your true love but then there's this other energy that comes in that's kind of like dracula looking like vampiric um and i was dealing with a lot of energy vampires at that time so i would say that's really accurate i also like these cards because there's a black cat in all of them and someday i'm getting a black cat um its name is karma <laughs> but i haven't met her yet okay a couple more for me um i was in this hanged man energy for a long long time like not really like yes moving all over the place and going everywhere but never really progressing in my journey because i was feeling kind of like i was going within and really in that moment of um self-healing for a long time and then i finally moved forward with the chariot and this could be like a literal moving forward because i like packed all my stuff in a big truck and just like left and peaced out and it wasn't necessarily the right direction I was going in, but it was a direction. It was out of the hanged man state. Um, so bottom of the deck energy for that time in my life is six of imps. So this is like six of wands. It is like a journey. It's like moving forward. It's, it's a moving forward for passionate reasons, like not, not love. There's no cups, they're wands. So it's like someone was turning me on and I was going after it kind of energy. Bottom of the deck for them at that time is this um four of swords so it's like really chilling out and trying to avoid all this like drama i'm gonna cut the deck too and also this energy of like princess of swords so so many swords right now in this in this person's life at that beginning stage very like mind focused um maybe even playing some mind games and just being very um sometimes vengeful sometimes um selfish but really like focused on themselves and protecting themselves self-defensive um just not like very happy energy there's not a lot of like bright colors in this except for this high priestess and also i see the ten of cups is very happy so there was that moment of joy but it kind of like goes right back to this energy and then these energies so that was like near the, the time of my chariot so yeah, it makes sense. Okay, let's go to, oh, right under this, I just wanna show you is the emperor, hiding right under this, kind of watching my journey. But I can't see it, like I can't see it, it's right behind me, behind me. Okay, so anyway, mid-journey, this was, okay, we did have like, um, I don't know, I don't know it's it's a complicated story for my situation so i'm just gonna fast forward a lot here and do like the time we spent together that was the most beautiful and what our energy was like in that moment so this was like so this is not even the this is not the beginning of the middle this is like the end of the middle because i'm skipping like a whole lot in the story because it was like just drama wish fulfillment joy perfection dreams coming true that was my energy then. I'll do a couple more cards for it. Eight of baths, because it's like you do feel like, I mean, I did feel, this is the eight of swords. It's like um, mummified. <laughs> it could be like kind of kinky in a way, but it could also mean like you're stuck. You can't, you can't reach out and touch anyone. Like you're all tied up. It's like, there's nowhere to go from there. You're, you're in the dark about something or you're just, you see how she's sort of like on this island surrounded by water and all these bats are tying her up. It's like, those are thoughts. The swords are like all thoughts. It's like overthinking, but knowing intuitively that like you're not seeing all the situation. Maybe you're not meant to. I'll do a couple more maybe. So even five of bats, it's like, trying to um, take on too much
there's also it's like an energy of like leaving someone behind who's very sad who's with this like clown like who the hell is that okay, sorry uh, calm down and the six of pumpkins so it's like um it's a, I love this card. It's like a woman in a witch costume giving candy to kids. Um, that's my energy for sure. Six of Pumpkins is um, about giving to others. It's the Six of Pentacles. So it's about um, having more than you need and giving to others. Um, it's, it's very complicated, honestly. Let's just... And the Nine of Ghosts. I was looking for this. Yeah, this is like um, joy and happiness and pleasure. Feeling satisfied. But it, it, it wasn't just like that energy. It was like all of these energies because I was aware of a certain situation. I was aware that uh, it, was a, it was a moment in time, not a lasting situation. So, you know, it can be the star, but also feel this way. Like a woman can feel so many things at once. So that was that. Let's go to him. I feel like for him, it'll be a little more clear cut. <laughs> Maybe not though. So this was that time where we had that like beautiful, I'm not going to call it a union because we didn't really like do anything. We didn't kiss or anything. Oh yeah. Um, this is the eight of pentacles. Quick movement towards someone. Um, there's two here. Oh yay, pleasure. This is similar to the star card and the queen of wands. This is the queen of passion. Horniness, a little bit, you know? Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew that his emotions would be more like, uh, he was keeping things balanced, but like being a little smug about it, keeping the connection alive. And love, that's love. Two of cups. That's beautiful but also in this energy of the Four of Cups of like something is um, dissatisfactory. Um, like you're kind of waiting, looking at the moon, being like, why am I stuck in this house when I could be with my love? So there was also that energy happening. Bottom of the deck was the highest self. Yay, that's amazing. And then at that time, the bottom of the deck was is nine of pumpkins. That's the nine of pentacles. That's that woman that has all her needs met, feeling independent and like she doesn't need anyone, but very, um, she has everything except the love in her life. And that it was like a realization, right? Um, so I'll just keep the cards that I pulled and like get all the rest back because I have some piles going. On. Okay, yeah, those are all part of the reading. This is now present energy, like right now how I'm feeling right now. And we're only using the cards that aren't already part of the reading. Having strength. Yep, and this is Leo energy, that's me. 10 of imps. This is again, taking on like more than you can handle the 10 of wands, um, trying to do too much. Even like some greediness, I guess. Um, temperance, patience, this is a challenge for me, but I like this image. It's like a, a young girl making a potion. And she, ha like when you're cooking, you have to really have a lot of patience. It's kind of like that energy. And the four of ghosts, it's like, yeah, I have all these um, offers from other people for love connections, but I'm not taking any of them. Like hands crossed, closed off. That's her presently. Let's see the bottom of the deck here again. It's like a messy deck. Queen of Pumpkins, someone who's absolutely in their power, their queen energy, but um, there's some, it's pumpkins, pentacles, it's like material world, everything's set, but maybe but there's, there's no cup, but you know, you have some companions, you have some animals, it's good energy, it's, it's not bad energy. Okay, let's go with him, I just saw the fool, new beginnings, so let's keep the highest self in that uh, four of cups and then see... I glimpse the emperor too. Present energy. I 
again. Sorry, the top of my head isn't really in this. <laughs> Present energy, we have like this 99 of cups, like an overflow of emotion, like an abundance of happiness and joy and celebration. So something is making him like feel that way. But he's also working really hard as the king of wands on a passion project of some sort. And <laughs> the five of cups, fives are like conflict and change. So something is changing in his life to do with um, emotions or a relationship. And from this card, I really see as like he's cutting ties with someone and like lose, leaving a connection, um, dumping somebody and trying to decide how he wants to be remembered, like what his, his mark on history um, also be, could be another like really, you know, we saw me tied up and now he's the one tied up. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> anyway, let's just do one more. The new beginning. It wasn't the fool I saw earlier. It's, it's a better fool for the situation. So it's like escaping negativity to come towards, to be in your superhero strength and come toward your, your desires. Bottom of the deck for right now is the magician. Manifesting all of your needs and desires and bringing your plans to life. Very, very powerful energy. My magician. All right, anyway, let's do future energy based on the cards that are left. I will say this is like near future, like October. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> October's energy, because I am using the Halloween tarot deck. And I mean, October is still the Mars retrograde, and like the tarot readers are telling me not much will change, but I don't think they're right. We have this page of imps. Yeah, sorry to say that, but like some, a lot of tarot readers are saying the energy won't truly shift until November 13th when the Mars retrograde ends, but I sense a big change coming in October, like, or, yeah, the month of October. And I felt like this Halloween especially is going to be, it's a full moon on Halloween. Like a full moon on Halloween. That is pivotal, like something will happen. Um, Page of Imps. This is someone coming forward in a very like gentle energy. It's a page, you know, it's not the king of imps. Um, to express a desire, horniness, or a uh, passionate message. Oh, that's my side. <laughs> I was thrown off because it's a page, but yeah, that's um, just a young energy. And even in this deck, she does have a ponytail. It's like a woman. Um, imps in this deck are the fire sign, so it's Leo energy too. Um, showing, yeah, well, we know how I get. And this is October energy, right? So the Knight of Bats coming forth with the truth, um, coming forward. I'm not I'm moving, 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 not staying very stuck. Uh, queen of Bats, even leveling up from the Knight of Bats to the Queen of Bats, being very direct. This is Queen of Swords energy. Um, very honest, very um, clear with my communication, I think. A few more. The Five of Ghosts. Is someone really kind of confused? <laughs> That's conflict in love. And then we have the Six of Bats. It's like me walking away or moving away from something. I don't know what that will be. Um, two of bats, something is still not clear to me. And I think that's what the six of bats is. It's like, uh, the cards are like, well, we can't tell you yet. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> but I'm definitely moving away from something. And I have like wings in this, that's beautiful. Um, bottom of the deck energy, oh my God, I'm totally moving. I'm walking away from something or moving in October. And I'm not supposed to know this yet. <laughs> well, okay, new adventures await. I won't ask any more of that. All right, let's go back to, I just, like, clearly something is ending. Look at this death just jumping out with the universe. He's getting powerful. Okay, anyway, so we're just gonna do one last message, which is his October. I hope it overlaps with my October. <laughs> okay let's take these it's death and it's me <laughs> not death of me nice try no this is um just me and my power it could be him mirroring my energy it's like the six of pentacles 
um, you have all your needs met. Things people are doting on you, adoring you, worshiping you. And it's the death of something. I think it's the end of some old energy, some other element that was messing with um, this story. And it's com coming forward in the Chevalier of Wands, passionate. It's like my page of wands over there, but they don't call it wands, like imps. Um, but this is an even more, like, um, a more mature person, I would say, than a page. Leaving this, maybe it's the death of that situation. Oh. <laughs> oh, these don't have reversals, but like, yeah, like this is still happening in October. <laughs> Shit, sorry to say, like this is, uh, this is still something that needs to be uh, deathed in October. This is happening in October. Insecure home situation, that's what that means. <laughs> oh, but there's this. <laughs> There's always this. Um, this could mean so many things. I don't know. What, what does this mean here? It's up to you. Whatever you want it to mean. It's your destiny. It's your karma. It could be a karmic relationship or it could be your destined woman. I don't know. It could even be you stepping into your power. However you want to read it. That's kind of what the fortune is saying. Who is this? Who are these other people here? <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's it, it's, figure it out, maybe they are your lovers, maybe that's your energy, balancing a couple different lovers, because we see three people in this card, figure it out, I don't know your situation, but um, I'm over here just like looking cute, so that's me in October, <laughs> okay, October, October, there's still like a lot of drama happening, man. You gotta fix this. I don't know. I can't help you much more. The volcano is about to erupt. I just want to save Pompeii, but some things can't be saved. This is the tower moment. In October. Could have to do with... I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but... This is a collaboration a partnership, a beautiful partnership. So that was after the tower following that ending and destruction. There's still fear. Why is there fear, man? But there is justice that's gonna be happening. Again, we're not see we can't see all of the situation right now. Some things are still unclear, some secrets are still being kept. That's all I have right now. Um, I know you want you want some November message. I'll shuffle the whole deck for one one card for November, okay? Just one. <laughs> it's gonna be like four. We'll see what happens. Whenever I tell my cards something, they're always sassy and they're like, you say what? <laughs> it matches my energy. Your cards will match your energy. If you're sassy, they'll be sassy, I swear. It's like Siri matching your energy, like the technology that knows about you too much. I have mine turned off. Yep, we got two. So November is the 10 of bats, which is terrible. This is 10 of swords. She's almost drowning. And the ace of bats is like the truth. Drowning in the truth? Maybe it's a poem. I need one more. I'm not supposed to know yet. Look at this blindfold. But so many swords. It's like all of the truth is coming out in November. But I'm not supposed to know yet. So okay, let me stop trying to know things I'm not supposed to know. Nah. <laughs> all right, this is a mess. This, this reading is a hot mess. But do you like my shirt? I love it. Anyway. It arrived today. <laughs> In the mail. Oh, cool. November's messages. Here we go. We got three and three. Perfectly balanced. So a new beginning. That's a butterfly. When you break out of the cocoon. It might be painful. I don't know. I don't know what happens in that cocoon. It, it might... This is what... This is still the cocoon in the beginning of November. And then you break out into this butterfly. And then you go straight to the jewelry store and buy me a beautiful necklace or something. I don't know. But that is very matched as black and green. Maybe you buy me green jewelry. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, have a really wonderful life if I never see you again. But I'm pretty sure I will. Bottom of the deck. 
course influencing everything right now is the devil. Facts. And then we have, oh my gosh, this is like literally the standoff is devil versus us. The two of cups is twin flame journey. The two lovers versus the devil. Us against the world, but really it's just the negative forces of the world, but like F you. <gasps> yes. <laughs> We're so much stronger. We are so like, you can't win. You can't win against us. We will win. Look at this. Two of cups, two of cups. I can't be more excited right now. You have no idea. That was so beautiful. I was like, goodbye devil. And you see the snake is here, but we're on top of it. Dancing on top of that negative energy. It's like we transformed that negative energy into a dancing snake with two heads. I don't know. And the cat is maybe an angel cat now. It has wings, like maybe the cat died. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it was one of our spirit guides the whole time, never in the physical realm. I have no idea, man. But. I read into everything on these cards and like that just happened and you saw it on video. I'm gonna have to end it there, that was beautiful. I love you and I'll see you soon.